When you focus on the breath, it's because you choose to do so. When you stay with the breath, you choose to do so. As you're making these choices, you do need a healthy sense of self. The self that's making the choice, in other words, that's far-seeing, they can see the benefits of these choices, and the self that's going to benefit from them. And John Sawat used to comment on how the Buddha talks about how many things are not self, not self. But when he gets to karma, he says, we're the owners of our actions. We're the heirs to our actions. The Buddha never says karma is not self. The results of karma, those are not self. Because once you've done something, you've set it in motion, and you can't call it back. And so as you receive the results of your old actions, you have to see them as not self. Because you want to focus on the areas where you really are making a difference right now, and that's in your choices. Now someday there will come a point where the mind gets stymied in making its choices. It gets to a point of where it's stable in its concentration, but it realizes that the concentration is fabricated, but any place else it would move would be fabricated too. And when it gets stymied in its choice like that, choices fall away, your sense of self falls away. And that's when things really open up in the mind. And we read about that point and think, well, I'd like to be there right now. But it takes a while to develop the skills to get there and the skills to see that point and to realize that no matter where you go, it's going to be fabricated. No matter where you choose to go, it's fabricated. So the time spent in looking at your choices and remaking good choices, unmaking bad choices, is time well spent. You're getting to know an aspect of the mind that's really important, both in causing suffering when it's done in ignorance and in becoming part of the path when it's done with knowledge. So respect your choices. Put a lot of emphasis on what you're choosing to do right now. But the mind is going to wander off. There will be a choice. Sometimes the choices are made down in the subterranean levels of the mind. But part of you knows. Then it pretends that it doesn't know. That's what you've got to uncover so that you can see the choices and be consciously clear about making them well. So pay attention to your choices. You learn a lot of good lessons when you do.